Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So now up to this stage here, where we need to find the inverse of K11 and multiply it by the P known forces. So this is K11, this is D unknown, and this is P known. So hopefully you guys remember how to do an inverse of a two, uh, two by two matrix. If you ha say had a matrix, let's call it C equaling um, A, B, C, D, the inverse of C, equals the determinant, 1 on the determinant, so 1a d minus bc outside of swapping d and a, so that's d, that's a, minus b minus c. Okay, so that's how you'd find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, so it'd be the same thing here. You'd use a formula like this to work out k11 inverse. Um, I'm going to let you guys do it if you want, but essentially you would find it. Um, okay, let's actually do it, okay? So we're going to have d11, d12, equaling, so now I'm writing out this, the k11 inverse matrix will be 1 on the determinant, which is 1 on 811, okay, I'm just going to call determinant A just to save a bit of space, so determinant of k11, the determinant of k11 is simply that by that minus that by that, outside of swapping them around, you would get 256000, zero, 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 um, swapping these, so it'd be 810667, oh, putting minus signs in front of them, they're already minus, so you're actually going to get positives. Okay, so that would be the inverse. Once again, I just haven't written it out because I don't have space, but the determinant of K11 would be that by that minus that by that. Very simple. Now that's outside of the P known forces, which is just 0 minus 1000. So what you would do, you would multiply this out, you would do matrix multiplication, this row by that column, this row by that column, divide it by the determinant, and you would find that D1, D2 would equal minus 0 0.00125, that's meters, and D2 would equal minus 0 0.004750.